Kansas City's Union Station is located on 30 West Pershing Road in Kansas City, Missouri. The station has some museums and <clears throat> a boarding area for passengers to catch a train or to arrive on a train from somewhere or to somewhere. Also, the station opened in 1914 and serving Kansas City's Kansas City, Missouri and the surrounding metropolitan area. This station replaced a small Union Depot from 1878. Kansas City's Union Station <clears throat> served as a peak annual passenger traffic of over 670,000 in 1945 and at the end of World War II, quickly declining in the 1950s and was closed in 1985. Then in 1996, a public-private partnership began funding Union Station's $250 million restoration. By 1999, the station reopened as a series of museums and other public attractions. <clears throat> in 2002, Union Station saw its return as a train station when Amtrak began providing public transportation services and has become Missouri's second busiest train station. Then in 2010, the refurbished station boasts theaters, ongoing museums, exhibits, and attractions such as Science City, Rail Experience, and other areas of the station with an attraction also, the station even features restaurants and gift shops and shops around as well. And lots of freight trains pass, pass by a lot and they even bring steam locomotives very often and other special trains as well. The station is open 6 a.m. to midnight and Science City and Rail Experience is open 10 to 5 Monday through Saturday. Mondays through Saturdays, and Sundays 12 to 5 as well, and Science City is closed on Mondays as well. What you see right behind me is Kansas City Southern 34. Kansas City Southern 34 was built by Electro Motor Division in 1954, 1954 and is the A637 diesel locomotive built by that factory and is a, an FP9A type diesel locomotive. This diesel was originally used for the Canadian National Railroad up in Canada as Canadian National 6507 and also used on the VI Canada train. Then the locomotive was later bought by the Kansas City Southern Railroad as Kansas City Southern 4 and repainted in a Kansas City Southern paint scheme and operated on the Kansas City Southern Railroad and then later renumbered as Kansas City Southern 34 then years later, Kansas City Southern 34 was retired and then Kansas City Southern decided they didn't need the locomotive anymore and donated it to the Union Station for a start of what was going to be what was going to be a new rail museum, which is Rail Experience in Kansas City, Missouri. Also, the locomotive is sometimes pulled out of into the sunlight and mostly seen under the shed and displayed at the station as well. And I think it might be out in the sunlight for a little while, it looks like.
Okay, here's the model railroad display. There's an HO scale Thomas the Train. Here's some G gauge. And here's some HOs. G gauge. And here's some. You can feel free to pause and see what this has on the wall. There's an N-scale one. Let's look at this one. Oh, it's C-scale, not N-scale. I have never... I don't think I've ever seen a Z-scale steam engine before. But, yeah. There's an N-gauge layout. Excuse me. Santa Fe 484 as well. Kind of looks like Union Pacific to me. There's a trolley on the elevated track. This is Southern Pacific. Here's a Line L layout. That's one the I'm getting. Excuse me. Baltimore, Ohio, 5318. Look at that. Good train. Kansas City Southern. And so much. Excuse me. Okay, so here's a Lionel Thomas set. Strophy, Thomas, and then Oh, this isn't just Thomas. Ruffy is the truck. Is the truck. Annie is behind Scruffy. Claire Bell behind Annie. And Thomas in front. Here's Thomas. And also... Some non-Thomas related ones. Let's look over here. Here's... here's oh, there's a... Chicago South Shore and South Bend electric coach. Let's look over here again. Wow, isn't this well detailed or what? It's a painting of the Natchez and the in Santa Fe diesel on the wall. And one coming out the one coming out the tunnel. A ton of people came to see this. Cool display. <laughs> And also, pretty detailed. Let's look at this. Ah, here's another Lionel one. There's Thomas with a celebration hat, a trolley, a Union Pacific doodle bag. Let's look around here. Okay, so. There's an HO scale. Look how well detailed this is. That looks like that's Norfolk and Western 1213 on that unfinished shed. It's a 2664, only one remains, and that one's one. That model is, let me zoom in so I can show you. That model is one of my favorite. Articulated locos. And here's so much. Ah, come here. Gallery cars. From Rock Island. There's a North and Western J Class. And so much at this big station. Let's take a look at these. This is a. This looks like it's in Germany. A model of a German village. Yeah, it looks kind of German. Yep, it is German, looks like. If it is, leave a comment below. And tell me I'm correct. If I am. Here's a Lego model layout. Let's take a look. Here's a model of Kansas City's Union Station as well. 
Here's Lego. Here's the other side of this model railroad I was on. So much. Okay, so gonna give a tour around rail experience. Here's some model trains in this case, Kansas City Southern, BNSF, Santa Fe Railroad. That's the model of the Alco Diesel that lives in Frisco, Texas. And here's an Enskip. This looks like, I think that's standard gauge scale. And this looks like HO Canadian National. And here's a dimensional unit. That looks like a Santa Fe 484. Let's look around here. Here's a caboose. This kind of looks like a replica caboose to me, but maybe it's an original. Could be a Union Pacific. And that's that holographic you see right there. This Kansas City holographic projector says Kansas City Union Station. And here's a cattle car that says Owen SL, OSL. I think it's Omaha Salt Lake, Union Pacific 39. This is a part from a cattle car Union from Union Pacific 391.90. And here are a lot of stuff around here. So let's carry the camera and there's a headlight up there. And this looks like an original coach, kind of, or maybe it's a replica. And now also, Missouri, Kansas, Texas, 903. And it certainly shows no extra. Let's look around inside. To interpret the Southwest fake. Yep. There's a projector. They're playing a video. Let's check out the inside of the caboose. There's a luggage cart, of course. Yeah. Pause if you want to read. You can see clearly the dark. Yeah, the bunks right here. This probably was not me. Here's a bunk. Okay. So you could hear a sound effect. Okay, so this is the cab of the locomotive, the simulator, so here are the controls I'm sitting at, so if the cameraman would come over here. Okay, this is called the dynamic brake, the throttle. So if I, this is where the reverser, it might. Horn. This is the brake. This is the horn. This looks like it rings the bell. So, these are the gauges. And so much. Well, 